Well, here we are, um, day number two of redoing the kitchen walls and stuff. We tore all that down yesterday, and you can see what we've got here, which is a bit of a mess, and a lot of people would be intimidated right now. What I'm actually doing right now is we've got these beams that were here and originally set, and you can look at this. Here's a piece of it right here. Um, the end of this, which was mortised out, has rotted out, but I want to try and keep as much of the original stuff as possible. And you can see it's antique heart pine. We're going to save this and make this a, a piece, maybe make it like a museum, but save a piece of this to show where it came from. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the same beam right here and the foundation that it's on. The only thing is down on that end, we actually made that footer over there. So we'll put a six by six on top of it, square it up, level it out and tie these together. Because again, I want this to still be part of the original foundation. Same thing over here right now, this morning, first thing what I'm doing is, is clearing off all the nails and stuff. So we can put the new six by six on here, bolt those two together, make sure they're plumb square and level. And then once the material gets here, we'll be able to start framing this up. So this is kind of exciting. Uh, we've been cleaning up and we got another truckload of debris up here that's going to be going. And we're going to see about saving this door. The door is actually in pretty good shape. Um, it just has, of course, the old lead paint and stuff on there that has to go. So I'm going to keep on keep it on here and working on getting this stuff done. You can see this corner piece is kind of rotted out here, but we'll put some new two by fours in here. Um, once I get the deck on, it'll make it easier to go ahead and start working on the stuff up in here. Um, I think I'm going to take this chimney that's over here on the back side out. Um, just, it's not needed and you can see how precariously it's sitting up here. Um, and I'm thinking about making a minor change because we're going to put a deck on here. So that way we can, you know, have barbecues and things. We're going to put a 36 inch door over here because the front door is very, very small because when the house was built, people were a lot smaller. Um, but we're going to put a 36 inch door so that way it'll be easier to bring stuff in here. But we're going to make an eight foot long deck that's going to wrap um, around and meet the little screen and porch over there. And we'll put another door on that side so that way it'll be another entrance way into the house. Just to kind of add to it, it's a historic house, but this section that we're working on was added on later. So the history will continue to follow along with it, even with the changes that we make. All of this stuff here is going to be returned as much as possible to original. The original windows I'm going to keep in there. We're just going to have to work on them to get them to be functional again and things. But it's going to be a worthwhile project. So let me get back to work. All right, so we squared up our beam over here. We're gonna get some fasteners to fasten these two back together. Um, we're gonna end up putting some extra mortar underneath here when we get it level. But check this out. Look at that. Guys, it is dead on level. Check that shit out. This old ass beam is still straight well over 100 years ago. And so what we're gonna do is now, we're actually gonna put a six by six on top of this and we're going to bolt it together with the other beam, make that plumb and level and do the same thing over here. And once we do that and the lumber gets here, we're going to be able to start framing up the deck. So maybe today we're walking out of here onto a new floor. Now, I may wait till the last bit to um, put the last sheet of plywood on before I nail it down. Because what we're going to do, because we're going to put the modern conveniences, but we're going to try and hide everything as much as possible. What we're going to do is we're actually going to cut out some of the bricks in here to make us a chase that will go up underneath of here. So that way the heating and air conditioning will be able to go up inside of this. And then we'll run the returns up uh, tight to the wall here in the corner. So we're, we're, it looks like a mess, but it's kind of an organized mess here. That's, yeah, as my dad would say, it looks like a U.S. mess. Yeah, it's a U.S. mess, but definitely... You think that yesterday we, we had, had all in, the, in, the, in the roof yesterday. Yeah, we tore the roof off the of sucker. It. All right, we can bring in one of those beams and set it in here right now. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get we're gonna go get the beam and bring it in here. You guys stay right there.
Love it. Love it. Here, take a look at this. So, this will be bolted to the house and to the beam here, and this is going to help to carry our load. And what we're doing is this kitchen actually stepped down. We don't want it to step oh, down. Easy. What we want it to do is we want to carry this out so it's even throughout. And so we're raising this up, which means we're going to have to raise up the ceiling as well. But this is going to be much, much better from the standpoint of um, having a house that's going to be more conducive to, you know, being level and not have to worry about tripping. And so we'll have the new front door will be right here with the electric panel over here behind that out of the way. And then we'll end up running cabinets throughout here. We'll have the stove will be over here um, on the end. We'll have a corner cabinet here. And I'm not sure if I want the sink. I, I'm still working on it. The sink may go right here as well. So we have a window that looks out over there. And then we've got the window that's going into the sunroom. So Mike, you ready to grab the other beam? Or actually, we can wait till we fasten this together. Okay, so we got to make a run to Home Depot so we can get this stuff together. And uh, it's coming. It's coming real quick. Real quick, hard and heavy. That's the way I like it. We've got these 12 inch long um, Samson Strong tights that we're bolting these two beams together with. And um, that's got this sucker tight. We're taking hurricane clips and we're cross tying with the original balloon studs in here. So that way you've got this sucker locked in the plate and we're squaring it up and leveling it out as we go through. This thing will not go anywhere anytime soon.
Okay, so we are getting closer and closer here. We've got almost all the floor joists in place and we're putting our blocking in here which keeps them from being able to twist. And we are dead on level and we're pretty close to that exact measurement to being the same level coming across the floor. We've got a few more blocks to go through here and then put the last two floor joists in. And we went ahead and put our vapor barrier down up underneath here while we had it open. So we are actually doing pretty good. Now the bad thing is, is we got the lumber delivered, but the way it was delivered is the plywood is all underneath the bottom of the stuff. So we're having to move everything on here to get it to the plywood so we can actually start putting plywood down. But I think it looks pretty good. Whew. To think that we had a whole we got here started about 10 o'clock yesterday morning and tore all that off and now we've got a deck that we won't fall through what's up good people mark holmes here of course with reactions and gig economy on all social media platform hope y'all are having a great day um i'm a little cleaner than i was yesterday yesterday I looked like i came out of the uh black lagoon but check it out look at this Bam! The delivery for the lumber didn't get here until like one o'clock. We have done all that. All that. We're, you know, right now our biggest problem is over. They, they, they put all of the dimensional lumber on top of the plywood. Well, we need the other stuff for the rafters tomorrow, so we need to get a plywood. So Michael Anthony is moving all the lumber, and I'm sitting here on my ass because he just told me that Terry McLaurin just inked a 71 million dollar three-year extension damn with a 28 million dollar signing bonus and uh makes him one of the top five highest paid wide receivers in the nfl um wow so maybe the reason why the cowboys are holding on to the cash is because they know that cd at the end of this year, he's going to have to get paid. Or, or they could do the fifth-year option. Well, they could. Well, uh, yeah, they could do the fifth-year option, but then have a pissed off. Said, you know. Have to pay him regardless. Yeah, regardless. That's a lot of money to have a garbage-ass quarterback throwing to him. You got Carson Wentz throwing to Terry McLaurin. Good luck with that one. Just saying. Not trying to hate. Not trying to. Yeah, actually, I'm trying to hate. But. Uh, good luck with that. That's all I can say to you. Good luck with that one. So I'm going to get back to doing this stuff. I want to at least get the plywood down here today. And then tomorrow, I'm going to be framing up the walls and the roof line. And uh, if I get that all up, oh, sucky. Get the sheathing up on there and some tar paper. And then I'll get my ass back home. But if I don't, I'll stay here till Thursday. Yeah, you got, you got, yeah, we got to get the grass and stuff cut. Although you don't have to worry about cutting it over here where we're working because we killing the grass. So I, I'm curious to see how my son Rio feels about that $71 million. I guess they're probably happy that they didn't lose the guy. When I saw the clip on his video, he was excited because he said he, the dude said he's going to miss mini camp, the camp and all that stuff. And I even show up. Well, Washington fans are always excited this time of year. They're always excited this time of year because they think that this year is the year that shit's going to change. The same amount they won the year before and won the division. Well, they always win the division when the division is ass. Ass or trash. Just like they are. Trash. That's what he said. Trash. Washington, your team is trash. All right. It looks good though, doesn't it? Look, we raised the floor up to meet the other room. Isn't that cool? I'm so proud of us. I'm so proud of us. Two days, ripped that shit off, and then uh, we tore the roof off the sucker. Tore the roof off the sucker, and now we about to put down sheathing. I feel good, yeah. Don't you know I feel good? I know, Stacy. You're gonna send it to me. All right. I'll see you soon. Peace. Okay, so we got our floor joists in. We got our spacers. We are putting in our legacy plywood here, or excuse me, OSB. 
um, that's tongue and grooved and we're putting down um, adhesive that will help it to uh, keep from being squeaky. And look at that. Boom. When we put our other flooring on top of it, we're going to end up putting in um, pine flooring. We're going to see if we can find some antique heart pine flooring, probably reclaimed, and put that down on here. It's going to be close to even with the uh, other floors. I love it. I love it. Yes. So we're putting in the work. We're going to get this thing done. And uh, we're going to take a break. Whew. Long way in two days. Alrighty. So guess what? We don't have to worry about anybody falling through the floor anymore in the kitchen. We also, uh, we do have to worry about rain coming down. So this is our second day this week being down here. We tore out all of the kitchen wall that was back here. We tore off the roof line, but now we have a nice solid floor. Look, it's solid as a rock. And now we've got a platform that tomorrow we can frame up for our windows and our door that is coming in here and um, feel good about what we've done. Um, and then of course we got to frame our new roof line, but now that we have a floor here, I can put my ladder up here and I can get through here and tear out all of this stuff, put my, uh, ledger board across there, uh, for the rafters and, uh, it'll make it a lot easier to go through and get this stuff together. So today was definitely a good day and we're going to go ahead and secure the place, put our tools away and we'll be back at it tomorrow morning. I'm Mark Holmes, of course, with my great son, and it's just the two of us working on this old house. I'll see you soon.